As the people held their breaths in the days leading up to E3 2018, they were granted the opportunity to patiently wait in the auditorium. While they were there, they were hoping, even praying for news regarding a new Halo game. With a stunning trailer, they started off showing nature and remnants of a lost civilization. These E3 watchers waited patiently throughout the length of this trailer for the glaring question, what is this game, to finally be answered. And answered it was, this game is none other than Halo Infinite. Just as a foreword, I've had to rewatch this trailer multiple times to get the right information for this very small debrief on what we saw at the Microsoft E3 briefing, and I get goosebumps every time I see the Chief holding his iconic Mark VI helmet and the pan that reveals the Halo ring. Anyways, as you could probably assume, this is my take on what we saw during the short E3 teaser slash tech demo for the newest Halo game, Halo Infinite. I know every Halo YouTuber and their dog has already made a video about this trailer, but I thought I would get my two cents out there and just give my insight on what was seen and what is known now. So without further ado, let's take a look at the Halo Infinite E3 trailer. It's no doubt that this trailer doubles not only as a teaser for a new Halo game, but also exists to showcase the new engine 343 Industries and Microsoft have created for the franchise, the Slipspace engine. I mean, it literally says it at the bottom of the frame. It's quite astonishing, really, to see the amount of detail and life that this engine allows in the environment it creates. Not to mention that this is the first time we've seen ambient fauna since the MOA in Halo Reach. I mean, prior to that, all we had were some thorn beasts and blind wolves from the Halo Combat Evolved E3 demo back in 2000. That's 18 years ago. It's no doubt that since 343 Industries took over, they've added a new layer of graphical fidelity to the Halo franchise. I'm pretty sure we all remember how awestruck we were when we saw each and every little pore on Dr. Halsey's face in Halo 4's opening cutscene. Halo Infinite is no exception. This game looks absolutely gorgeous from what we've seen so far, and is a testament to what Halo can and will become. This new landscape is vast, breathing with life and a small little slice of Halo Heaven how we all imagined it would look. There is some information that has been pieced together by the Halo community since the trailer itself premiered last Sunday. Some of the information that has been confirmed for the most part is that the game takes place on Zeta Halo, or Installation 07, due to references from Halo Primordium and Halo Hunters in the Dark, as well as a SOS message in Morse code that translates to SOS, Zeta, Halo, GRD, that plays during the part of the trailer that pans over the UNSC outpost, showing the radios on the table. It is also confirmed that the game takes place after the events of Halo 5 Guardians, because of the date present in the cockpit of the crashed Pelican being 5 27 and because Chris Lee of 343 Industries stated in the Halo Waypoint post about Halo Infinite that the game will focus on the Master Chief and continuous saga after the events of Halo 5. It doesn't really get more direct than that. There is also speculation that the Chief will be working with a new AI in this game. As we see him insert an active AI chip with an odd and unknown serial number etched onto it into his helmet during the trailer. The identity of this AI is unknown as of now but is speculated to be a new, even more powerful AI built to fight against Cortana with the Chief. Speculation is that this AI will be named Durandal, based on the story Song of Roland which tells the tale of Roland being betrayed by his comrade Ganelon, I think that's how it's pronounced. Please don't hate on me for pronouncing his name wrong. And uh, Roland is slain. However, not without a valiant fight leading to the weakening of Ganelon prior to his confrontation with the Frankish king Charlemagne. The sword used by Roland during this fight was named Durandal, and is said to be made from the same steel and temper as Joyous and Cortana. Halo Infinite's story may be a direct parallel to the Song of Roland, and it will likely be heavily influenced by the story altogether. However, we don't have any real concrete evidence, so take all this with a grain of salt, 
as I did when researching some of the background information that to put in this video. Now that we know some really cool information that has come out since the uh, premiere of the Halo Infinite trailer on Sunday, there's also a lot of cool visuals, besides the gorgeous scenery of course, that we can take a look at. One of the first things I did notice was that the Marines seemed to be wearing Halo Reach style armor with a more Halo 2 looking ERDL style woodland camo BDU underneath. I absolutely love this as myself and a lot of other people weren't big fans of the Halo 4 and Halo 5 Marines. They are also shown to be equipped with a Halo 5 style battle rifle and drive a Halo 4 and 5 style Warhog when shown driving along the dirt path next to the beam emitter tower things. What I can take away from this is that there will be either a mix of the two technologies and art styles to more accurately and canonically explain the time period and the transitional phase or that the Halo 5 assets were merely placeholders as more resources were put towards the slipspace engine itself rather than the character, weapon, and vehicle models. I have a feeling, however, that for canonical reasons, it will simply be a mix of the two art styles and technologies working together side by side, and it will hopefully have a sound canonical reasoning behind it. You know, just because they switched the art style once with the lame excuse doesn't justify switching it again with another lame excuse even if they're switching it to the art style I prefer. I want a good, canonical reason for the art style switch, and I know most people out there agree with me on that. Of course we can't gloss over the fact that we got to see the Master Chief in his iconic Halo 2 or Halo 3 Mark VI armor. This is the part that most of the viewers went absolutely bonkers and acted almost single-handedly as the confirmation that the classic art style we grew up with is back. This rendition of the Chief we saw in the trailer reminds me a whole lot of the Chief from the Halo 2 Anniversary blurred cutscenes, which is a very good thing because Halo 2 Anniversary cutscene Chief was gorgeous, as was his in-game counterpart. Alright, in conclusion, I have summed up some of the information that I have regarding the Halo Infinite teaser and what has surfaced since. It's important to note that this information is not 100% up to date as new information and leaks are coming out at a very fast pace. I intended to make this little video either yesterday, which was the 11th, or on the day of E3 itself. However, I had company in town, company that I rarely ever get to see, so I decided to give a majority of my attention to them and hold off on making this video until they had left. Very noble, right? Well, here's another piece of interesting news. This will probably, emphasis on probably, be the last Halo news slash content video that I post on this channel is I feel I'm now in the position to unveil my new passion project, Blue Jay. This new channel is my Halo exclusive channel that allows me to post any and everything Halo related that I wish. Now I know I could do this on this channel as well, but you know, Halo is by far the most important piece of entertainment in my life, and my favorite sci-fi franchise of all time. I felt it was only fair to dedicate a separate channel to the franchise I am the most passionate about and the one that has brought me years upon years of entertainment all throughout a majority of my life. I want to make Halo content, befriend members of the Halo community big and small, and immerse myself more in what is, in my opinion, the greatest franchise of all time. This was a very short video, much shorter than I originally wanted, but I felt that I would save a majority of the Halo news for my new channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the content, and uh, don't forget to check out that other channel. I currently don't have any uploads on it yet, but I'm currently working on a Halo 2 Vista video to act as my first upload. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you on the MCC and on the next video. Peace.